In this video, we're going to be talking about how Gunlancer has a built-in Yu-Gi-Oh! dual disc, what cards we want to use for that, and where we can get them. Alright, so let's start off with what cards we actually want to put in his Yu-Gi-Oh! dual disc. I'm going to first talk about the easy to obtain sets and then we'll keep talking about more and more difficult to acquire sets so then you have more goals that you can kind of aim. One thing I would suggest is that the hardest set you should try to start getting right now because it's going to take a long time in order to acquire all the cards for that set. So the first set if you have absolutely nothing else should be the wheel meet again set. So the set effect for these cards is that you're going to be taking 12% less damage at 50% HP or below. The way you get this set is from doing the Vrad's hideout dungeon in Shushire, so it's pretty early on and really easy to get in that case. However, from a Gun Lancer's perspective, you're not supposed to be going under 50% HP for the most part if you're using your shield correctly. Therefore, this isn't the best fit for Gun Lancer. However, if you don't have anything else, it's a really easy set because you just get it from that Shushire dungeon and it's only three cards as well. Don't invest anything into the Awakenings in this because this is more or less just a placeholder so you can get a better set soon. So ideally, we want to replace this with the Farewell Weapon set or the Field Boss 2 set as soon as possible. The reason I'm mentioning these together is the first six set effects of these cards are the same. So for every two cards you get in these sets, you get an additional 4% max HP. So as a Gun Lancer, this is way better because this is way more applicable to us compared to the last set. Now, where the these two sets differ is in the awakening. So for the field boss two set, you get an additional 2% crit rate if you have 18 awakening pieces. And if you have 30 awakening pieces, you get 4% attack power, but only when you're not in a party, which I think is really not worth it at all. For the farewell weapon set, if you do 30 piece awakening, you'll get 24% crit rate for 10 seconds if you land a successful attack. So because awakening your cards is such a limited resource, I would actually recommend not awakening these sets. For farewell weapon, you're actually hitting over crits you're losing some of the benefit of that set and for field boss 2 even though the two percent crit rate is really nice it's not the best you can do with card sets so the best way to get these card packs is from doing abyssal dungeons the challenge tower chaos dungeons islands and also just general quests just like with the awakenings if you get a card selection pack i would suggest not using it on these mid-tier sets i would prefer to use them on the best in slot sets instead speaking of best in slot sets let's get into those right now so in order to completely fill out these sets it's going to take months so i suggest working on these as you're working on the mid-tier sets because it's going to save you a lot of time but that's true how can there be two best in slot sets if best in slot means best in slot all right so you got me there's only one best in slot set which is light of salvation but difficulty of getting this set is going to take months so in the meantime you want to go for the lost wind cliff set so let's talk a little bit about lost wind cliff first so for every two cards you put in the set, you're going to get Dark Resistance, which honestly, in the beginning, I was like, dude, who Not needs me. Dark Resistance? But doing a little bit more research, in the upcoming Legion raids, there are going to be a lot of fights that are going to be Dark Damage focused. So you're actually going to be very tanky in those fights. Now, where this set really starts to take off is when you get the 12-piece Awakening, because you get 7% crit, which is an insane increase to your damage. You're going to feel this. And then once you get the 30-piece Awakening, you're going to get increased Holy Damage, which also in the Legion raids is going to carry you because you'll be doing more damage to those monsters. Plus, your homies are going to love you too because the holy damage also applies to your party. Lastly is going to be the Chad Lancer of card sets. See what I did there? Because Gun Lancer is like the best class ever. We have the Light of Salvation set. Now, the reason this set is so powerful is because the first six cards you put in give you 30% dark resistance compared to the Lost Wind set, which only gives you 25% dark resistance. So for the Awakening pieces, once you get 12 piece Awakening, it turns all your damage into to holy damage. At the 18 piece, you get 7% increase to holy damage, and at the 30 piece, you get 8% increase to holy damage. You're basically going to be summoning a fireball from the sky and disintegrating anybody it touches. Also, like I said, in the Legion raids, they're weak to holy damage, so this is going to make it even more effective for the Legion raids. But this is going to be extremely hard to do. As someone who's in tier 3, I don't even have a single piece of this set, not to mention the 30 pieces you're going to need to get the awakening for this set. So this is going to be really long-term goals. The reason this is going to take forever is because these are all legendary cards and they don't have their own specific card pack. So you're going to have to grind them out and get them. So obviously you want to start collecting them right now because this is going to be a grind and a half. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys liked, leave a like. Catch you guys next time. Peace.